People do all sorts of things that get them pulled over by the police. Today, we've got 10 cases of routine traffic stops that turned into much more. Starting with this speeding incident on April 29, 2022, in Vernon County, Wisconsin, when police received several reports of a gold SUV allegedly speeding in Westby, Wisconsin, reaching 70 miles per hour and dangerously passing other vehicles. Moments later, an officer spotted the car, now driving a staggering 106 miles per hour in a 30 mile per hour zone. 146 call across, he came into town 106 miles an hour and I'm uh, respawned at County Peak. Never mind, he pulled over 900 block, 900 block, central. Upon approach, the officer instructed the driver, 35-year-old Amanda McCaig, to turn off the car and step out. Amanda, however, was uncooperative, demanding that the officer give her a ticket so that she could be on her way. What, do you have a fob or what? I don't know. I'm trying to comply. You're trying to what? I'm trying to comply with you. I'm what Your compliance is going to be getting you. out of the car. I'm not going to get out of this car. Okay, you are under arrest. For what? For reckless endangerment. For what? That's a felony crime. Who am I endangering? Come out of the car. Who am I endangering? Who am I endangering? Please explain that to me. Step out of the car. Please explain to me who I'm endangering. Step out of the car. Please explain to me who I'm endangering. You're taking me to jail right now? Yes, ma'am. Are in Valley? Yes, ma'am. Sir, so do you have an identification with you? Because he paid me because he doesn't. I'm sorry, I didn't catch what you said. What I you just said. told you his name. What's his name? Anthony Lucas, and he does not have any danger. And okay. you're not going to arrest him. My danger. Where are you coming from today? What? My house? Driving to school. 146 for now. 146, go ahead, head. Driver's last name is McCaig. I'm C K A I G. I'm Mary C Charles K King A Adam I I G George. First Amanda. Can you give me a ticket so I can get to school, please? You're, I really don't have time for this. Sorry. That was my turn, wasn't it? I'm civil white men. I'm civil officers. I don't have time. For I'm trying to go to school, I'm trying to go to work. I'm not going to your jail. I just want the ticket, please. As the officer waited for backup, Amanda made a bold move, restarting the car and accelerating to presumably flee. The officer reacted as fast as possible and jumped in to prevent her from driving away. Ouch, God. 146, 1033, 1033. Do you want your help? Yep, officer. You don't. Did you get off me? Please. Get off me. Get on the ground. I'm you. I'm not getting off. Get on the ground. While trying to place her under arrest, a bystander stepped in to help the police restrain her. Yeah. Um, unlock my or unlock my doors from the driver door. Go to the passenger side. I have a pair of handcuffs down in the on my belt on the floor. Put your hands behind your back. Thank you, sir. Can you get my radio out of the street there so it doesn't get run over? Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Put your other arm behind your back. Put your other arm behind your back. Here. I'll take that other side. Thank you. Are you doing it? You feel better now, officer? Thank you very much. Appreciate that. <laughs> Excuse me! Is that what you feel about having 
Just stay on the ground. Amanda's passenger told police that she has a mental health condition and had been off her medication for two months. When the officer asked about his thoughts considering the speed they were going, he answered as if it was no big deal at all. What's going on today? Are you her brother? Kind of, yeah. Is she upset about something? Mental health thing. You you or her or both of you? Uh, her and me. Okay. She's recognizing that she needs some mental help? Yes. Okay. She said she was going to go Saturday. She's been off her meds for two months. Yeah. Okay, I appreciate that. I'll give this back to you. I just have your driver's license, okay? Keep my hands visible. Yep, I believe that. Thank you so much. Appreciate that. And are there any weapons in the car? Uh, yes. What's what's the weapon? A Bowie knife and a duffel bag. Appreciate that. I'm gonna give you your identification back. You doing all right? Yeah. Did we a little bit scared when she was driving? Or? Not really. Did she drive like this often? No. Did it seem dangerous to you what she was doing out there? I don't know, I don't drive. Okay, you got your instruction permit, right? Yeah. Well, so you've been through driver safety and, I mean, took some driver's education? Yeah. Would you drive like that? No, I don't know, probably Okay, not. all right, that's good, good. Was she actually, She so she wasn't going to school then? Well, she was. Apparently, Amanda was late for school. Are you supposed to be taking any medications? I don't know. She came in at 106 miles an hour. She's going to school. Huh? She's going to school. She's late? Yeah, apparently. Can you see? Apparently. Um, when I got her out of the car, he uh, decided to tell me that she was going to go get some mental health help. Oh. Um, she's been off her meds for two, two months. So, I managed to, she was going to take off on me again when I was standing in the open door. Oh, for real? She turned, turned the car back on and put it in gear. She wouldn't give me the key fob. So I got on her lap and took over the car and out she came. Uh, Whatever works. She's in the back? She's arrested in the back. Who are you in charge of it? What's that? Who are you in charge of it? Reckless endangerment. It's a felony, right? Yeah. yeah. Off to jail, she's going. This guy drive. he can't drive. He's got an instruction only. So if you could figure out if he's got somebody that can <clears throat> come pick him up or something from... She I don't know, her right eye is... Yeah, Anthony, yep. Questions arose about possible drug possession, with a police dog indicating the presence of drugs in the vehicle. Why are you in my car? You want to just tell me where the drugs are in the car since the dog told us that they're in there? I don't know. You don't know? I don't know. Okay. Do you mind just turning your pockets inside out for me just to demonstrate to me that you don't have any drugs on you right now? There's the fob. Okay. There's two fobs? Okay. Yeah, I don't have anything on me. I don't do anything. Okay. You don't use any drugs? No. Does Amanda use any drugs? Uh, Sometimes? Covering addict. Okay. What's your drug of choice? Heroin, meth, or something else? Uh, cocaine. Cocaine? Okay. Okay. Appreciate that. <coughs> What's that? If you do find anything, it is not mine. <laughs> okay. Fair enough. In court, McCaig faced felony charges for endangering safety through reckless behavior, attempting to flee or elude law enforcement, resisting arrest, and multiple traffic violations. Her cash bond was set at $3,000. On November 7th, 2023, in Willowick, Ohio, a simple traffic stop took a dramatic turn after a man identified as Richard Eggers was pulled over for making an illegal left turn and having no brake lights on. I stopped you for two things, okay? You took an illegal left-hand turn out of Lakeshore, or I'm sorry, Shoregate Shopping Plaza, illegal left turn, and you don't have any brake lights on. Put that left hand up so we can see where this thing. You can put the steering wheel, I just want your reaching on the side, that's all. You have a driver's license on you? Yes. Can I have it? Yeah, go ahead. Is the car insured to you? Yes. Do you have the car insurance on you also? I, I don't, but I have the one in I just bought the car. Okay. I haven't gotten the car yet. I haven't even had the car for 30 days. Okay. Who's it through? Who's what through? Your insurance. Uh, can I, I have to look at it. Okay, I yeah. have the name of it. I got it through the dealership, so okay. I don't even know. I just got the email. Sorry, guys. Just find that and sit tight, and we'll be right back, okay? You guys just started, man. Officers decided to call for backup before they take action on what could be a previous potential violation for Richard. 
What'd you notice when we went up there, uh, aside from the violations we have? Seven, six, seven. What'd you notice dealing with him? I noticed two things um, that are that were potential. One's, one's a violation, one's a potential violation. 67, can you report to the lobby, please, for a theft report? Once we approach the car? Yes. That one. Um, he wasn't buckled, was he? No, he had the, he had the buckle strapped behind his seat. Okay. So he's not properly wearing a seatbelt. What else? Um, the only other thing I saw was that he was, his hand was down here. Okay. Car smells like weed. Okay. That's why I creep, crept him a little closer because I caught a little whiff of it. Okay. And I moved in, so there, there's, there's an odor of marijuana coming out of the car. Okay, I didn't really smell it. That's fine. What you're going to want to do, driver's the owner, we'll take another car. Or have another car start this way. He's waving to us. That's fine. He's got his insurance. 33 will look. You can tell him no rush, too. Like, have another car start this way, no rush. Driver is the owner. And can we get into the car? No rush. We'll do the search. We're going to do a PC search. It smells like weed. What's his name? Saren. Richard. Richard? It's Richard, right? Yes, How you doing, man? Good. Um... Couple things. I can smell some weed in the car. So, do you got some in here? Um, or did you smoke recently or something like no, that? No, but I was with somebody that smoked. You were with somebody that smoked? Okay, that's fine. That's fair enough. I get it. Um, I'm gonna have you step out if you don't mind. Uh, I don't have to step out. Why do I have to step out? Because I'm gonna search your car. I don't agree to any searches. It doesn't matter. I can smell the weed. I have probably cause to search a vehicle. I don't agree to any searches. That's fine. You cannot agree, but I'm telling you it's gonna happen. So, I'm gonna step out to your car. Sir, I'm not. I'm not Sir, you're, you're, gonna, you're gonna step out of the car. Sir, I'm not stepping out of the car because. That's... Shut the car off. I'm not asking you. Sure. Shut the I'm car off. I'm not stepping out of the car. Shut the car off and exit the vehicle. Please. I am not asking you. I'm ordering you to do that. I'm sorry. Comply. I'm not stepping out, step out of the car. Sir. Dude, why are you grabbing me? Because you need to you're exit the vehicle. Out of the car. We're gonna Just you're... because you asked me to point... get out of the car, you cannot grab me. At this point, I'm gonna place you under arrest sir. if you refuse to get out. Sir, please. Exit the vehicle sir, and you'll be placed under arrest. Exit the vehicle sir, or you'll be placed under arrest. You are now under arrest for obstructing. For, what? for obstructing. Get out of the vehicle. I don't trust the car. Get out of the vehicle. Please, sir, please. Get, get out, out of the car. vehicle, sir. you're gonna get tased. Get out of the car. Please, get out of the vehicle, you're gonna get tased. Get out of the car. Get out of the vehicle, you're gonna get tased. Get another car from this way. Please, sir. Get out of the vehicle or you're gonna get tased. Get out of the vehicle or you are gonna get tased. Get out of the vehicle. What seemed to be a peaceful conversation took a quick turn as the officer commanded and took bold actions to get Richard to step out of the vehicle. But instead, what the suspect did next will cost him some time in prison. Go, 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 go. The police who had been dragged by the car were left on the scene. Civilians came to help the officers who fell to the ground. <sighs> They they got they got stuff going on. They're trying to chase after. <sighs> Thank you, boys, for stopping. I appreciate it. Yeah, uh, yeah. Will you grab my taser out the roadway, please? Yeah. <sighs> Just hang out. What's that? Warlick, just to update you, he took off, dragged me by the car, I got uh, partially run over. I am okay, I'm still at Lake Shore and Lloyd. I'm okay right now. Thank you, sir. Yeah, you're good. Did you guys see what happened? No, I just Did anybody see what happened? I just happened to look out the window. Do you mind pulling out a statement for us? I seen you laying around. I'm gonna just get him get this dude to write a statement about what happened. Well look, we also had taser deployment, male refused to get out of the vehicle. Yep.
While Richard Eggers was able to outrun the police, he was arrested the following day by the Northern Ohio Violent Fugitive Task Force at his residence. Richard Eggers faced multiple charges including felonious assault, failure to comply with an order by a police officer, obeying traffic control devices, obstructing official business, and not stopping after accident. In exchange for a guilty plea, Eggers was given a seven-and-a-half-year prison sentence with a mandatory minimum of five years, a ten-year suspension of his driver's license, and a maximum of five years of post-release control. The court also seized his vehicle, and lastly, he must cover the costs associated with his prosecution. Up next on March 8, 2023, an officer observed a vehicle with a defective brake light and initiated a traffic stop. The driver, identified as Harrison, pulls into a Walgreens store and parks in a handicapped spot. The officer calls out and asks Harrison to stay in his car, but Harrison ignored the commands and walked into the store. Let's keep begging your car, man. Hey! Traffic stop! My car was stopped and parked. Car off. I'm going to stop, walk. bro. Ain't no stop. Come back here. I'm a grown man. You come back here. Like that. Ain't no come back. Come here. back. You're getting bro, resisting. You're resisting work. right now. I'm not resisting nothing. Upon encountering police, Harrison dismisses the officer right away. What's wrong with you, bro? What's wrong with you, bro? Let's go. Step it up. Bro, you got Come on. right got it. Hey, we're going back hey, outside. No, we're going where? We're going what, back what outside right now. Me? What did you do to me? Nine what did you County, do? Could you please step bring out your camera, ma'am? I'm going my, my go. job, right? Don't touch me. Don't touch me. My car. What, what is your reason for harassing me, man? Because I did. I gotta go to work at ten o'clock, bro. Stop on you. I gotta go to work at ten o'clock. My car was cut off. We're back by the car. Hey, and, and, and you Let's can run my plates. I got license and everything. What are you doing? Harrison refuses to comply, insisting he cannot be arrested and that he was getting a Red Bull and going to work. The officer called for backup, and officers who happened to be doing another traffic stop rushed to Walgreens. You have a defective brake light. What are you that's doing? Why I, that's bro, why I stopped bro, you. you did not stop me, bro. You did not stop me. And your camera is showing that, bro. Let's go. What are you doing? We're Let's stepping, go what? We're stepping outside. Yeah, I'm stepping after I buy my Red Bull. Right now. After, no, no. Right now. You don't have that right. Yes, I do. You don't have that right. Yes, I do. No, you don't. Yes, I do. No, you don't. You crazy. Where's my backup? You crazy. Where's your backup? You better not touch me. I know you better not touch me. Ma'am, please don't leave. You better not touch me for a traffic stop. Let's you better go. not put your hands on Let's me. Let's go. Or I'm suing your ass. Let's go. Touch me. We're walking outside. I ain't going nowhere. We're walking outside. I ain't, going, I ain't under arrest. I ain't got going nowhere. Is it closed? Is it closed here? Okay. We're stepping yeah, outside. I'm gonna buy my Red Bull. We're stepping outside. What's wrong with you? I got rights, man. You can't do that. Get the f up out of here. Step you outside. See you see, please watch this, because if I die, I want my kids step to outside. see what happened. Step please outside. Please record this. I ain't stepping nowhere. The officer eventually tackles Harrison and attempts to handcuff him as the backup arrives. Please record it, man. Record it. Go on, girl. Guys, left hand? Yep. I got it. You got it? Please record it. Get my keys, please. No, three times. They can slow it down. Yeah. Yep, everything's recorded, sir. So I'll make it to my family, please. Let them see that video. Okay, bye. 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 Slow it down. See how he's putting his legs? On my head for no reason, man. Sir, just he's securing him. Hey, see this? Hey. See this? We're just Unnecessary force. Why is my head being on the ground like this? Hey. Okay. Just calm down. Hey, we're good. Hey, we're breathe. good. Hey, we're good. You he can on breathe. my back and I can't hey, breathe. I'm not good. Me. Hey, we're gonna I'm, get no, you. No, he's on my butt and I can't breathe. You can breathe. Just back up, Robbie. Robbie. Robbie, back up. Back up, my head. Okay. We're just gonna be calm. Okay. All right. Don't worry about none of that. You guys good to put him on his side? Yep. Okay. We're gonna put you on your side, buddy. Okay? He'll help you out. Why am I in cuffs and I'm not arrested? Why am I being? I wasn't. Why? Why am I being arrested? Hey, hey, I'm hey. supposed to go to work to take care of my family under a 90-day policy hey, man. At, at this job. Hey, hey, what's your name? First name. Harrison. Harrison. 
Okay, just take a deep breath. Bro, this is uncalled for, We're going to get you up, okay? I was not, uh, I was not under Seriously. arrest. It wasn't a traffic stop. He had no right hey. to follow me hey, in man. this okay. store and do this to me. Okay, man. Hey. Y'all hey. act like we both got no right. Harrison, I'm going to talk to you for check his voice. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. If that's what you're going to say, just keep that with you. You can bring that with you to court. But right now, we're not going to argue about it because you're only going to make your situation... I'm not arguing anything. Okay, perfect. I'm speaking for that camera right there. Okay. How, uh, how this unnecessary force is being used on me. Wait, what we, and that wasn't a traffic stop. Stop okay. or none. Lucky, no drugs hey, or none. Second, one second, man. I don't care one about second. none of this. Do whatever you got to do, bro. Hey, lucky for you, man. Y'all ain't know y'all ain't like, on my team, bro. On my side, y'all can Relax. just take me to jail. Do what y'all got to okay. do, bro. Hang on, hang y'all already up my time. life. Yep. yep. One, we're gonna sign you up. Okay. Perfect, man. There we go. Because the officer detected a smell of marijuana on Harrison's clothes, this prompted a K9 inspection that confirmed the presence of drugs. Marijuana was found inside a Swisher Sweets package under the passenger seat. So you're gonna go to jail for obstructing and disorderly conduct. Okay, there's a bond that you can post. The jail will tell you how much it is if you'd like to post a bond. If not, you'll stay until you see a judge tomorrow. Okay, you're going to get a citation for possession of marijuana. We're looking at the handicap. Possession? Ain't no marijuana in my car. What did he say? Yeah. Can you take these cuffs off? They hurt my shoulder. Yeah, I can check them, but no, you're. it's unfortunate when you're arrested, you have to be in handcuffs. I'm saying, why am I arrested and I didn't run from him? I told him I'm going in Walgreens to get a... Red yeah. Bull before it closed. Okay. Well, how well, can I get arrested? When, when for you're in a traffic stop, okay, one second. When you're in a traffic stop, and you walk away from the car, and an officer tells you to stop. You have to stop. You can't keep. Well, I, 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 I'm talking right now, okay? Don't talk over me, because this will answer a lot of your but questions. That, that, no, no. Yes, it is. As much as you think it's not, it is. As much as you think that this is ghouls and this is a parking lot, that is, it's okay. It's this, this is a traffic stop, okay? He wasn't behind me when I turned off. My it doesn't car. matter. It doesn't so matter. Why is that a because stop? he observed you fall, doing some some type of violation. I mean, like I can see you don't have a plate. Oh, he's not something about a light as well, bro, okay? We might as well not even talk. Bro. Yeah, that's what I kind of was getting at. I think that you. I went to law school. Okay, well, if you went to law school, you know that you can be de detained during a stop, and the officer can tell bro, you. Bro, that's stop. not a stop. My car was turned off. That doesn't matter. Bro, yes it does. That's that, that that does matter. Okay. How can you stop me if you wasn't behind my car my car cut off? I didn't see him until I got out my it car. Matter. It, it does matter. matter. You have to let yourself be known okay. and let a uh, person Harrison. know they're being stopped Harrison. for it to be a stop. Harrison, I'm not yelling at you. Yelling I'm yelling at y'all because I'm frustrated. Okay. I was on my way to work. Okay. Now, Take care of my mom. Now, Harrison. And my shoulder hurt, bro. You already said rescue sign off on you, okay? Bro, bro, you said this that you ain't no to... obstruction charge. I didn't run from no police. It's obstructing. That ain't obstructing, okay, bro. It, it ain't no stick, bro. It's a lawsuit. Okay. My shoulder is f***ed up. Okay, do you want us to check your cuffs? Because with the way you're yelling right now, bro, I'm not going to check Bro, I don't care cuffs. about that right now. Damage is done, bro. My shoulder and hip is f***ed up, bro. Okay. But you, you don't Tell me what y'all find right? in my car. So... Why y'all searching and I ain't give y'all permission? Tell because, me what y'all found. Because we have probable cause to search. Like he He's just told me. He just told me we, we're not going to search your car because but I uh, you didn't give right. us permission. Right. But then I we said I've never stopped any police officers Harrison, before. Harrison, are you going to keep interrupting me? I don't even want to talk. I don't even know why y'all are talking to me. Okay, that's fine. I'm going to bother explaining about the K9 and PC. Yes. They were, I just checked them. You did? Before we put them into the car, I double locked. Was he broad enough that he needs two, potentially? Later, police discovered that his car registration is expired and that the handicap placard didn't belong to Harrison. Blacker in the car. Hey, I got to keep checking on you so when you don't move and you just keep your eyes open like that, I got to check on you. Hey, okay. Hey, man. I need hey. to check on you, okay? But when you're just sitting here with your eyes to, open, not moving. I want to talk to my lawyer. I know. Is that your I handicap placard? I want to talk to my lawyer. Okay. Do you think that's his handicap placard? Did someone already call dispatch and ask them if they can run it? When he was finally taken to the hospital, Harrison continued to resist the officers. Hey, you don't seem to like me? Okay. I so, I, no I know, I just don't want this to be an you, issue. I don't even know you, bro. Okay? This goes much more smooth if we're just cooperating with each other, okay? I'm not going to cooperate with you. What? I'm not going to cooperate with you. I'm You're not? See, no. I want to see EMS. Okay. Well, what do you mean by not cooperate? Let's get I that. I just want to see EMS. Are you going to physically be resistant with us? Are you denying me? No, I'm not. I'm trying as fast as I can to get you in there. Okay, so, let's go. Okay, are you going to be cool with me? What you mean? Have I not been cool with you? Where have I not been? Well, describe cool with me. Where have I not yeah, been? Yeah, you've been cool with me, man. Okay? So, come on, let's go. Yep, you've been cool awesome. As a consequence of his action, Harrison, age 34, was charged with misdemeanor counts of resisting and obstructing an officer, three citations for second offense of possession of THC, non-registration of a vehicle, and parking in a handicapped parking space. He was given a $250 cash bond.
Up next, on October 14, 2023, in Toma, Wisconsin, a deputy on patrol initiated a traffic stop after observing an SUV displaying signs of potential impaired driving. The deputy noticed the vehicle weaving within its lane and crossing the center line multiple times. Howdy, sir. How you doing, young man? Good, yourself? I'm good. The reason I pulled you over is because you crossed the center line and you're kind of all over the road. Well, what happened was, officer, when that went over the road, we was having a conversation. Okay. No, I, I get that, but it was continuous from when I started following you, kind of over by White Tail Cross and all the way back here. You we were going from Frog Line to Center Line the whole time. Is there insurance on the vehicle? I don't know. It's my daughter's vehicle. I was taking my friends out tonight just yeah. to show them a good time. And Do you two have IDs as well? I do. Okay. Do you mind if I get your IDs? Why? I just like to identify everybody I'm with. I'll give just you my ID. along with the officer, man, because the, 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 the less you don't do, the more he can do with us. No, that's. I just like to, you know, check to see if anybody's got warrants or see oh, if no, they have I don't any special have no conditions. Warrants, no. That's why I like to identify I mean, I'm just people. I'm trying to show my friends a good time because, you know, I haven't seen them in like two yeah. years. Okay, yeah, that's fair. And then, ma'am? No. Okay, yeah, fair enough. Matthew, could you do me a favor and show off the vehicle? Perfect. Thank you. And then I'll have you step out, actually. Upon talking to the driver, identified as Matthew, the officer noticed an odor of alcohol coming from the vehicle. This prompted for a field sobriety test, which Matthew initially showed cooperation. What I'm doing. All right, right. Off. Another safety thing. Do you mind keeping your hands out of your pockets? I, I have a bad problem with putting my hands in my pockets. All right. If you want to keep I your hands in your surgery. pockets, can I pat you down and make sure you don't have oh, any? Oh, go ahead. All right. I just want to make sure you don't have a knife gun. Oh, man, anything. I ain't trying to do yeah. none of that. No, I get it. The reason I had you get out of the vehicle is because I believe you, you've had, had some alcohol tonight. Okay. Oh, I did have a beer. Okay. I'm not going to lie to you, officer. Oh, no, I get that. Is it just the one beer? Yes, that's all I had. I, I don't know you very well. I just met you. And the things I'm seeing, it's consistent with somebody that's had a little more than one beer. So no, I'm no, being upfront and honest with no, you. No, that's all I had was okay. one beer because we had something to eat. And that was it. I'm being upfront and honest with you. Okay. So I want you to be upfront and honest with me. And I, I will be. Okay. I will be, officer. Because I can smell some alcohol on you. Your, your driving behavior is a little, I mean, it's not great. But on a scale of one to ten, one's sober, ten is extremely impaired. I will say three right about now. Three? So you're feeling a little the effects of alcohol? I don't know which one I'm feeling. But right you are feeling now. something, is what you're saying? Yes. Okay. I'm not going to lie to you. No, it, hey, I, I appreciate that. I respect you. Know, I'm honesty. just trying to show my friends. No, I get that. Time, but I'm also trying to do my job, right? Okay. And make sure that you're being safe, that yeah. you don't get hurt, that nobody else gets hurt. So in your honest opinion, do you think you should be driving right now? Honestly, yep. I think I can. You think you can? I think I can. But do you think you should be? Should be? Probably not. Okay. If you say so. I can do it. Just so I know, have you ever been charged or cited with OWI? Oh, yes. You have? Yes. Okay, once, twice, multiple times. This, if you charge me today, this would be my eighth one. Eighth? Yes. Okay. Do you have any restrictions on your license? Like a point oh two restriction or anything like yeah. that? You do? Yeah. All right, because those are things I need to know. Okay. Before. I ain't going to lie to you, officer. Okay. I ain't going to lie to you. No, I get it. Do you mind if I remove your hat for this test? No, no don't do that. <laughs> So, when I tell you to begin, you are going to take nine heel-to-toe steps down that line, three all the way up till nine. Do you get turned around back on that line? Do you understand all those instructions? Yes. Okay. You may begin. Three, four, five, six, seven. You good? Shortly after having difficulties performing the test, he refused to do further testing and asked for an attorney. The deputy then informs Matthew he is being arrested for operating while under the influence. But before the officers could handcuff him, Matthew started to resist arrest. Stop! Stop resisting! And I'll get us a second. Get your hands out of your pockets. Get us a second, he's fighting. You just go. My God. Stop resisting then! Put your freaking hands behind your let me tell you something. You just f***ed up. You're about to go to the ground. Stop. Knock it off. Well, you know what? What? Throw me on the ground. Throw me on the ground. Get him on the ground. And when you throw me on the f ground, the f you car. just f***ed up by dropping it. it off. If you don't stop, you're going to get tased. Well, tased. Throw me on the f ground. Get on the ground. You just, no. you just f***ed up my f***ing implant. Shit, now we'll shoot that f***ing Monroe County shit. Put your arm behind your back. 
you. Put your arm behind your back. Let go. I'm gonna love seeing you son of a Stop resisting then. I am. He also attempted to bite the officer as he refuses to get off the ground. You just trying to bite me? Mm -hmm. Do it now. I'm gonna love seeing you mother. Hey, no! Get your hand out from behind your back. I'm gonna love suing you, mother. I really am. I really am gonna suing the out of you. Or you think you'll be able to grab his arm? Yeah. You mm -hmm. got it? Yeah. Hold that. Finally, after much struggle, Matthew was placed inside the squad car. Inside, Matthew became violent as he kicked the door inside the squad car and complained about his implant. You dumb. Get your feet in the car. Pull him. Wait, go over there and get Yeah. Watch out. Grab him. Oh. Yeah. In the ambulance, right? They just f***ed up my implant, man. Okay. Are you bleeding? I don't know. Does it feel wet? The f*** you mean do it feel wet? Hey, man, don't boss my all right. After being transported to the hospital to get his blood drawn, Matthew still refused to cooperate despite his continued complaints about being in pain. You gotta move your knees so I can shut this door. I can't move my knees. I'm in pain. Would you like to have that checked out? You just gotta move your knees, man. You wanna handle that so I can work on it? Just work. close the door. Okay. As long as you're gonna comply, I still have to be I here. I don't want you doing nothing. Step away. You gotta promise me two things. She did. From me. Do you want me to loosen him? I can loosen him. I don't want you touching me at all. Fair enough. Before being transported to the police station, Matthew made a threat toward the officer and once again resisted getting in the squad car. Before you get in the car, we haven't searched you after, okay? Just figured what we got you up in here. I got a knife stuck up my ass. That's not good. I might use it on you. Are you threatening law enforcement? What we got right now is called a Mexican stand up. Okay. Please sit down, otherwise it's just another charge. Put my shit back where you got it from and I'll get in the car. No. Okay, well, we got a Mexican stand up. Mm. Alright. Oh, I just love the bruises. Mm. God, you're acting like a child. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Your back don't hurt now, does it? <laughs> it hurts a whole f lot. Stop. A like you. Hey, Steve. Matthew, age 64, faced charges of felony counts of OBY's seventh offense, bail jumping times two, and battery and threat to an officer. He also received misdemeanor counts for resisting and obstructing an officer and bail jumping. Additionally, he received over $500 in traffic citations and his cash bond was set at $7,500. Lastly, it was also discovered that Matthew had an extensive criminal record that dates back to 1991. On May 11, 2022, in Bentleyville, Ohio, an officer initiated a traffic stop after observing a dark green Sentra that had an expired registration tag. The man, identified as Addison Tish, failed to provide his driver's license or proof of insurance. Hello, how are you doing? I'm Sergeant Cartwright, Bentleyville Police. The reason I'm stopping you is your tags have expired on this vehicle. I'm working on it. Okay, Morning do you have a driver's I'm license, proof of insurance? Up. You don't have a driver's license or insurance on you? No. Okay. Go ahead. <clears throat> are you the registered owner? 045. 044. Are you really doing this you again? do own it too? Are we really doing this again? What? I, why do this again? I what just got a job, dude. I'm just beginning to make money. What's your, what's your social? Can I leave? No. What's your social? I guess okay. I won't go to work tomorrow. <clears throat> what's, your, what's your social? Is that the case? Are you going to give me your social or not? Can you answer the question? What's that? No. What's your Are question? Are you going to work tomorrow? That's up to you. I don't know. What's your social? You're harassing me. What's your social? You chose to harass me. You what's your social? You what's your name? Nice what's your day! First name? I'm having a nice day! Just leave! Okay. What's your name? I'm nameless. I'm okay. an illegal immigrant in this country. Okay. Last name is Tish, right? No. You don't know me, remember? Oh, I don't remember. I just can't remember your name exactly. Alright, hold still. 
After running his information, the officer discovered that Addison's vehicle was to be towed due to his suspension from a previous warrant and for driving an unregistered vehicle. Addison acted with extreme agitation at the officer as he tries to explain things to him. You're suspended. You have a warrant out of the Metro Parks. You're a monster. No, call me what you will, all right? Get but still, it, you can't can drive you, can you suspended. That? Can you absorb that instead of being like all... No, it's all absorbed, you all right? So we're going to have you step out for me, all right? Is there anything you need in the vehicle? I need the vehicle itself. Well, you can get that out once it becomes valid. All right? I don't even have You're not the registered owner. Yet, bro. You're not the right. Why? Let me ask you something. Why are you driving then? You're not driving to work. You're driving because to I the have park. A life. Calm down. I have a life. All right? Leave me alone. Leave me well, alone. I have hobbies. I have people I okay, like to see. Okay, well, other people have to register a vehicle. Why makes you different than anybody else? Why? Why is why are you special and everybody else has to obey rules? It's Can you tell about, me that? It's not about the rules. What, what is it about then? It's about the rules being wrong. Okay, well, don't take that up with me. You take that up with your legislature. Call uh, the governor for all I care. I don't make the, the rules. Well, you okay. Can I go? I no. Be left alone. You have to step out of the alone. vehicle. Dude. Listen, you got to step out of the vehicle, okay? I'm not accepting I have to explain that this. An offer. Well, I don't know what else to tell you. That's the only offer you're getting today. All right? No, I'm a human and I can be left alone. Listen, all right? We went through this before. You were Norm numerous times. You can't drive. You're suspended. Your mom can't drive. She's suspended, bro. And, and again, okay, that's not a my, a my problem. That's a your problem. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm positive of that. All right? <laughs> so I need to step out the vehicle for I'm going to explain this to you, okay? You're going to have a court date on May 25th. You can bring all your, air all your grievances with the court, all right? Well, I didn't you know, suspend you. Has messed with me before. I didn't suspend you. I didn't suspend you, okay? Addison asked about his other options. After mentioning he has no one to pick him up, as a courtesy, the officer offered him a ride to his mother's house. But still, he refused to step out. About the car now. What's the option, bro? What's the other option? The option is getting out of the car and you go home. Or I don't live in Solon. You can. I don't care where you live. Stop Call a friend. Call a friend. It's fucking 2 a.m., dude. Okay, well, get your mom here. I'll even drive you to your mom's. You can you can arrange a uh, you're a, a wrong. run. You're in the wrong. All right, here. step out the car. Are you gonna get out the car? Pull me out of the car. Are you gonna get out of, the car? out of the car? All right. His refusal to step out of the vehicle after being asked multiple times gave officers no choice but to pull him out of the car and arrest him. Nice step out of the car, bro. Nice Look, elbow grab, bro. Stop Listen, out of the car. Out of the car with us, or we have to take you to jail. Right. Don't I don't want to take, take you to jail. jail. So the other option is my car is gone. It's towed, and you get it later. Right. I don't get it later. You can get it later when it gets towed. No, I can't. It's either that, or you get arrested right now. And we do not want to arrest you right now. We're don't want to arrest you. So what's the alternative? Well, come on out the car so we could talk that about the alternatives. Alternative. That's not the alternative. So All you're right. towing my car. Your car's going to be towed, yeah. Wrong. Whether right, it's going to be towed. Or not, your tar car's getting towed. Step out of the car, Addison. Step out of the car. Police are messed up. Dude, we hit, listen, believe me when I say we are working with you more than most police officers would be. Right. I disagree. Come on. I it's strongly disagree. You would, be, you would be tased by now. All right. What is that? Had enough. <laughs> oh, I'm going to go to jail. Step out of the car. Come on tight, bro. Yeah. yeah. Step Pull out of the car. Up, bro. Yeah. Step out of the car. Stop being Ooh, like this. Arm, bro. You know, you just made me sit in a hot car. My oh, that's unfortunate. It's really unfortunate, Addison. You You're really need to grow You're up. Fortunate I have you really? You, bro. The officer discovers that Addison has scratched the police vehicle with his handcuffs. Addison claims it's his way of getting back at them, saying it's an eye for an eye. Because of this, he was given an additional charge for vandalism. Knock it. Yeah. Eye for an eye, brother? Oh. Oh, that's nice. I'm glad. You're fortunate. Knock it off. Holy cow.
How come you did this to the side of the door, Addison? I was being apprehended in a manner that, um... That you didn't like, so you decided to scratch correct, this door correct, up, huh? That's correct. Because immediate punishment does more than oh. a ticket. So you're, you're immediately scared. punishing yes. us by scratching our door. I did, didn't I? You did this in such a purposeful manner. Yeah. Wow. All eye right, sir. Eye. eye for an eye. Somebody oh. said that. Yeah? Okay. As a consequence of his action, Addison Tisch was charged with vandalism, obstructing official business, driving under suspension, and driving a vehicle with expired plates. Up next, on August 16th, 2022, a routine traffic stop took an unexpected turn when an Atlanta murder suspect who has been on the run for 28 years was pulled over for a traffic stop. On a random registration check, Deputy Devin Blair arrested a man who was identified as Race Seacombe, but it was later discovered that this was not his real name. What's your what's your last name? Sakim. Sakim. Okay. All right. I'm gonna have you go and step out the vehicle for me. She's gonna come and get me. Yeah. So you're about 57 minutes away from me. I was almost at the hospital. Okay. Take this off, boy. Um. Just um. Uh... All right. So here, here's what's gonna happen, Sakim. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um. Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to place you into custody today. Okay. You have to go down to jail. Oh no. You gotta get booked in, I'm gonna take your fingerprints and picture and you'll get a bond. But because you're driving on a suspended license, you gotta go down the jail. Sir, I did not know. I have children, I have a sick uncle, and I run the household. I got you. No, I really we, do. We don't have a choice at this put, time. Please so we're placing you in arrest. Go ahead and turn around, put your hands behind your back, please. Please put your hands behind your back. Who set the phone up on the car? They put me under arrest right now. They, I don't know. For driving with suspended license? And your license. I didn't know. And, 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 it's, and it's not even showing. Unfortunately, the law is different here in Georgia than it is in South Carolina. If you have a suspended license, you have to go down to the jail and get booked in. Okay, but, but sir, can you speak to my aunt? She has. Yeah, to, we're on speakerphone. She can okay, hear us right now. Yeah. No, please speak to her. Yeah. Please, please speak to her. I'm the only one that can help with my uncle that's sick in ICU right now. Sorry about that. Unfortunately, it's not me, sir. You're driving a car without valid insurance. My son. Oh, we yeah, got, you got that yes, taken care of. Okay, you're already driving a car without valid insurance. I won't drive. Registration. My cousin. can't trust you to drive to drive. No, I swear to you, I'll walk away from my car. So we're going to walk you back to this please, other car. Please, sir. So sir. We're going to walk you to my car. Oh, come on. Sir. Come on. Please, my aunt is old. She's 80 years old. Sir, please. Do you have anything I, on I you? I will not. Poke I swear, you can, please check me. Okay. Please check well, everything on me. I'm going to search you and send you to arrest. Sir, I have a child at the house that they cannot take care of. I what all do you need out of your car? Sir, I beg you. I what? beg of you all. What? I will not touch my car. You can take my keys out. What all do you need out of your car? The police placed Seacombe in the police car to be taken to the station. When they arrived at the Oconee County Jail, the officers did not know about his previous record and were only arresting him for his suspended registration, suspended license, and having no insurance. Sir, I do for my entire family. Okay. Well, do I you know? I'm, I don't have a choice here, man. I'm telling you. That's, I, I told you job. I was not going to get we in my car. We I don't swear have to a you. Choice. I wasn't going to get in you my have car. You have a suspended license. You drive in a car without insurance. You've got that taken care of. I've been of. doing it every you day. You suspended registration. It's, you have to go down to the jail and get booked in. Just take your photograph. They're going to take your fingerprints. They'll give you a bond amount. And you can bond out and then you can get on the way up to the hospital, but you can't drive. All right. May I speak after you? Have a seat. Are you going to sit down and then I'll listen to you? Okay, so what do you, what do you want to tell me? On, on everything, my aunt just had a stroke. My uncle just had a stroke two and a half weeks ago. Yeah. I'm here helping my family. No, I don't even know who that. can come and bond me out. I don't even know who can come and bond me out. I'm not a criminal. I'm not a crook. I'm, if you, I look I mean, how old you, I am. Did you get a ticket or something? I didn't get take care of? I, I don't. Mean, why would they suspend your license in South Carolina? That's, I just found out speaking to the deputy. Yeah. I just found out that maybe when we had a car that I had that got repossessed, that yeah. I didn't take my name off of it. Okay. Um, I, mean, I wouldn't imagine that they'd suspend you for a repossession. But that's what I'm saying. I did. I don't. But but it's no no information is coming up. I won't drive. I will, I'll have my cousin. Can you slide your license in for us? You're not going to speak to me? No, unfortunately. I told you. I've already explained my position to you. Oh, this hurts. I don't have a choice.
my, my wrist. This is really tight on my wrist. Okay, I'll check it right now. I'm going to come to the other side. Watch your knee. So, Cam, I'm putting your headphones in your little black pouch. Man, y'all really, y'all got to please make sure my aunt is okay. She's 80 years old. Do you need anything outside of your car? The man tried to appeal to the police by explaining his family situation. The deputy tried to assure him that they'll work with him to expedite his release so that he could attend to his family matters. Just speak to my aunt because I do everything for the house. I okay. I, I do everything. My son is there. He's only 13 years old. He doesn't not he does not know what's going on. This is this is I don't can you let my cousin know wherever it is I'm going? Can you let them know where it is going? Yeah, so when you get there, you'll be able to call them. How, how can I call them? When you when they book you in, they'll give you some phone calls, so you can call them. Yeah, All right? Because, yes, because I, I don't... Yeah. Why? I thought you was going to let me, just let my cousin pick me up. Why did this happen? I'm, I'm so sorry. People, deputy, so many people rely upon me. You do not know. You can look. You can get in and get out. All right? I can get in and get out? Yeah, like, they'll book you in. If you have somebody that can bond you out, you have a preset bond. So, you can bond out of jail. You don't have to wait to see a judge. Well, how much is that? Uh, I'm not quite sure. They'll give it to you when we get there, okay? We'll work with you, all right? We'll try to get you out as quick as possible. Yeah. All right, we got to get you to the jail. I just have to go by what the law states, okay? But I'm not even... Yeah, absolutely. And I and I and I I believe you. I believe you are helping your family. But I, I have at the end of the day, I have a job I have to do. And I appreciate you being cooperative. Okay. I'm afraid because my my uncle is in the ICU. However, in a surprising twist to the story, after he was transported to the Oconee County Jail, the man's fingerprints revealed a different identity. He was identified as Muhammad Bilal El Amin, wanted by the FBI for his alleged involvement in a murder case dating back to 1994 in Atlanta, Georgia. We're witnessing another routine traffic stop that led to the arrest of an armed fugitive wanted for murder. On March 18, 2021, Flagler County Sheriff's Deputy Krista Rainey pulled over a Dodge Charger driven by Justin D. Moore and his half-brother Shaquan R. Moore for speeding, doing 63 miles per hour in a 50 zone. Upon pulling them over near the Wawa store on State Road 100 in Palm Coast, the deputy detected the strong odor of marijuana coming from the vehicle which prompted a search. Do you have a medical marijuana card or any hemp in the car? Okay. Because I have, I, I can smell marijuana coming from that car, okay? I'm not bust, I'm not looking to bust somebody for just a little bit. Tell me and we'll work with you. But if you don't tell me, I'm, I'm going through the car anyway because I have probable cause. So you're better off right now if you got a little bit, just telling me and we'll, and we'll talk about it. If, it's, if anything, it's probably just some stuff in Ashley, like little roaches. Okay, and that's it? Okay. Did you hear us explaining him why, why we pulled him out of the car? Why was it? What's that? Why was that? Okay, come on over here and we'll explain it to you too, okay? Come on to the back of the vehicle. Inside out and wiggle your toes. Yeah, I feel my socks. I'm no, I'm not touching your though. socks. You're taking them off. I thought I wasn't being arrested. You're, you're being placed in handcuffs and in the back of my car until we're finished with our investigation. You are not under arrest at this time. I was just not have to sit in the car. I was Put your feet all the way in. If it's if it's uncomfortable on your left left wrist, you can slide back and put your feet out this way. All right. After detaining the driver, Shaquan resisted the officers, which led to a violent arrest and knocked off Deputy Krista's body cam. Come over here, right over here. Stop and turn around. You're not listening. All right. We're gonna do the same thing for you. Stop. Then do what we're asking you to do. Relax. Spread your feet. Moments later, backup arrives, which finally ends what could have been an even more dangerous situation. 
You're gonna get tased. You keep it up. You hear me? Stop resisting now. Hands all the way behind your back. Get that cup. Hands all the way behind your back. You're gonna get tased. You're gonna. Stop! Stop! Okay, okay, okay. Turn around now. Turn around now. On your stomach. I'm not. On your stomach. I'm not. I'm not. On your stomach. Get on your stomach now. Do not move. Do you understand me? Give me your right hand on your I back can't. now. I can't. I can't. Pull your right hand out now. Yes, no. you can. Please. Pull your right hand out. I can't. You're holding me. Get your other arm out. Grab it. Grab it. Grab it. You're going to get tased again. Do not move. Do you hear me? Stop reaching. He had a zero. This is what you were trying to do. Are you dumb? And he's reaching for this. Did you see him reaching? Yeah. I checked it. It's... You okay? Yeah. Chequan was taken into custody on charges of resisting arrest with violence and possession of a concealed firearm. Additionally, he was arrested on a Georgia warrant for homicide. He was detained with a $6,000 bond for the local charges, while there was no bond set for the Georgia warrant. Our next case shows a routine traffic stop that led to a drug bust. On November 19th, 2022, a police officer in Flagler County spotted a car with excessively tinted front windows, prompting the officer to initiate a traffic stop. The suspects were identified as Audrey Perro and Joe Hopkins. Hello. Hi, my name's Deputy Magnuson with Flagler County Sheriff's Office. Yep. The reason why I stopped you today is because the tint in your front windows is definitely... Or hey, it looks like it's too car. dark. We just bought the car. I bought it like that. Okay. How long ago did you buy the car? About, a, I knew, I knew about three months ago. We just changed it at all. All right, so what I'm going to do, I do have a tint meter, and I'm going to go, I'm going to put it on it just so I can see. All right? Do you have your driver's license, registration, and proof of insurance? While the suspect was providing the vehicle's paperwork, the officer noticed that the man seemed nervous, which the officer deemed suspicious. Are you the registered owner of the vehicle? Yes. Yeah, I am. You are? He is. Okay, are you? I would well, try am. to, but they, they wouldn't let you. I am. Okay. All right, I'm going to have you start. I'm going to start with this window right here while you're getting this those documents together. Why are you nervous? The back windows are good. Because she's got a license. Yeah, the window. Do what? Because she ain't got a license. How come you didn't, you didn't drive? I, I mean, was, you know I was, she didn't I was, have a license. I was, yeah. I was falling asleep, and I, we stopped at the you store. Asleep, man, and I was I, like, I man, I don't want to drive. drive. Yeah. Another officer arrived at the scene and asked the suspects if there was anything in their vehicle, to which they said no. They were also hesitant to have the car searched. How's it going? Hi, Hi it's Arden here. My name is Deputy Beausoleil for the County Sheriff's Office. I'm with the K9 unit, okay? Got a few questions for you. In the car, shouldn't be in the car. Firearms, large knives, machetes, anything at all. And drugs of any kind. The like cocaine, crack cocaine, heroin, hemp, methamphetamine, marijuana, MDMA. No. Nothing at all in the car. Okay, would you mind if I look? We're not, I don't want anybody to look in the car. Okay, that's all right. I'm going to walk my dog on that side of the car, okay? Um, is that one more wrong? Can you roll that window halfway up for me? I know the keys are over here. Halfway up? Here. Uh, can you do it? Halfway up? Yeah, yeah, if you can. Subsequently, a K-9 dog was brought in to inspect the vehicle. After conducting the K-9 search, the suspects were instructed to exit the car. Okay. Maybe step on the car for me. Come back here. We'll go to the front of this car. Can I get him to jail? With the K-9 confirming the presence of drugs, the female suspect was given one more chance to disclose whether there were drugs in the vehicle before the officers searched it, but she chose not to admit to anything. Basically, my K-9 alerted to the odor of my car from the vehicle. Oh, okay. That's ridiculous. Is there anything in that car that shouldn't be in the car or anything no, no. that was in the car that shouldn't be in the car? No, and he didn't alert to anything because there's nothing in the car. Okay. So. But nothing at all? No. Okay, do you have anything on you? No. Okay, do you use drugs of any kind? No. no. Okay, and you don't have any pockets or anything, or firearms or anything at all? Okay, if you would just sit right here for me. The officer proceeded to search the car and indeed did find drugs. Because of this, the police detained the suspects. In the glove compartment on the passenger side, there was this, and it was tied up in a ball. 
and inside of it there's a stem and there's some cocaine. Cool. You can see down in there. Yep. For the meantime, I'm gonna have you turn around, um, put your hands up on the vehicle for me. Alright, I'm gonna have you put, uh, you can drop your uh, vape and keys and everything. I got it. Why is he getting arrested? Nobody's under arrest at this time, okay? Yeah, we are. You're just being detained, that's all. That's being arrested. It's not. Right now you're being detained. Audrey Perro was charged with a third offence of driving with a suspended licence, possession of drug paraphernalia, and possession of fentanyl. While Joe Hopkins was charged with permitting an unauthorized person to drive, maintaining a public nuisance, possession of drug paraphernalia equipment, and possession of fentanyl. Additionally, Hopkins was charged with introducing contraband into a county detention facility. Our next case follows a man in the Florida Keys who was arrested following a traffic stop for a suspected DUI. The man, identified as 67-year-old Walter Frank Camp, launched a series of profanity and sinister threats directed at the officers. How you doing, man? Hello. How you doing? I'm good. I'm good, good, good. Awesome. Can you do me a favor and just lean up against my car while I go uh, absolutely? Do you have any value in this I have a lot of value in my car. Other than that giant bag of marijuana, is there anything illegal? There is nothing illegal in that car. Well, that giant bag of marijuana is illegal. Nothing illegal in that car. Do you have a Florida medical marijuana car? I do. Did you buy that marijuana out of this place? What marijuana are you talking about? The marijuana that you open your car and slam it shut because it's sitting right there. There is no marijuana in my car. Do you have your medical car with you? Maybe. Maybe not. There you go. Go search it. Upon conducting a traffic stop, the officer detected the odor of marijuana coming from the vehicle. Upon inspection, the officer asked Walter about the marijuana he found in his car, but right after acknowledging it, he then immediately denied it, as if changing his mind. I need some marijuana, actually. Okay. I need... No, I don't have any, man. I'm right now. That sucks, man. Well, I could use some. I'll okay. Find Unfortunately, they don't, uh, they don't supply marijuana in the jail, well, so... Yeah, I'm not going to jail. Where are you going? I'm going to be released here in a few minutes. You are? Yes. Oh, okay. While the police check his vehicle, he repeatedly threatens an officer and even makes threats about the officer's children. Go ahead, search everything you want, sir. You're a f Thank you. I like that. Thank you. <laughs> I got lots of hats. I'm a musician. <laughs> That's not you very remember nice, this Walter. day. That's my name is nice. Walter Camp, and you will regret you ever heard my name. But I'll f later. Okay. And his dog. Okay. And his and his women and his kids probably. I might even f his kids. That's a little weird. <laughs> when it's all done, it's weird. But what the? F hey, you got, any, you got any females in your family? <laughs> Does he have females? I'm not sure. Well, I'll yeah. this kid too. Okay. Any kids, of course. You got any kids? What? You got any kids? I don't really think that's a good thing. I'm gonna f them. If I don't do it, I'm gonna have somebody else f them in the end. As if the previous threats weren't enough, Walter even made a statement that he would kill them if he had a gun and made sure to let the cops know that he would kill them when he's freed from prison. If I had a gun, you'd be all dead right now. Okay. You have no idea. Okay, just take a seat for me. Of course. I'll be out tomorrow morning. Okay. And that guy will be dead in, okay. a, in six months. Sounds good, Walter. There you go. I'm gonna put your hat right here, okay? Well, you can, you can, you can put me down that. He'll be dead in six months. All right. I don't give a fuck. All right, I'm gonna close the door. Watch your leg, okay? Yeah. During his transport to jail, Walter told the officer that he intended to murder the sheriff who had arrested him. You ever see that movie John Wick? Yeah, I love that. Movie. Well, I'm the boogeyman. I'm who they call when they get in trouble, dude. Baba Yaga. Guess what? He is. Shoot him in broad daylight, point blank, put my gun down, 
and call the Pentagon, and you know what they're going to say? They're going to say, well, sorry about that. <laughs> At the jail, Walter continued with his threats, even bragging that he could shoot the sheriff from a distance of 2,000 miles, even referencing a movie to illustrate his plan. You see the deer hunter? The movie? The deer hunter. I'm 1978. Not sure. Probably not. I don't think uh, so. He's from Pennsylvania, the little deer hunter. One shot, one kill. I don't need one shot, John. <laughs> <laughs> From 2,000 yards, try to find me, brother. <laughs> try to find me. <laughs> I can be off the island before you even find out he's not here. Think about that, John. Hey, Walter, so like I, like I read in that thing, so your license is going to be suspended for one year, okay? It's so not going to happen, John, but go ahead. Okay, well, your lawyer... You know, they can do whatever they can do. But for right now, until you talk to your lawyer, if they're able to do something where you can get a license again, just say, no, it's going to be suspended unless your lawyer... Good luck with that, John. Walter Frank Camp faces charges of DUI, multiple counts of threatening a law enforcement officer and their families, harassing a law enforcement K-9, grand theft of a motor vehicle, indecent exposure, and resisting arrest. This last case happened on May 4th, 2022, during a routine patrol in Brookhaven, when a police officer spotted a car that was stopped in the middle of an intersection and disrupting traffic flow. What's going on, man? Yeah. What's going on? You alright? That's fine. Uh, uh, uh. So, why is it, uh, you just sitting here in the middle of the, the middle of the intersection here? You don't know? What's your name? Nicholas. Nicholas? We, we live at Nicholas. You alright, Nicholas? Uh, yes, sir. So, uh, where are you coming from? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Where are you coming from? Uh, coming from the square. From where? <sighs> Do you need to? You need to get checked out? No, sir. So, so why is it you just sitting here in the middle of the intersection? That's what you want me to do. You got your driver's license? Yes, sir. Let me get that. Yes, sir. Let me get your driver's license. Where's your wallet? Come here. Your driver's license inside of it? Yes, sir. Get it out for me. Yes, sir. The officer approached the vehicle and initiated contact with the driver, identified as Nicholas. The officer noticed the driver's odd behavior, giving the officer probable suspicion that he might be under the influence of drugs or alcohol. Hang tight real quick, all right? After his assessment of the situation, the officer called for backup. Let, let AMR come check him out. Make sure he's okay. We're worried about his safety. All right, so, so this, this is what I, I think is going on. Can, yes, can you hear me? Yes, sir. I, I think you've been using something that has impaired your ability. Not I think, I know, you've, been, you've used something recently that has impaired your ability to drive. And that's the reason why you stopped short of the stop sign. And that's the reason why you didn't wake up the first time I came here. Uh, you've been here for about, about 20 minutes, okay? The officer informed Nicholas that his car will be towed and explained their suspicion that he was under the influence of something that's causing his erratic behavior. You're going to get a ticket for being impaired, and then you're going to get checked out of the hospital. You understand, sir? Yes, sir, I understand. What, what did you put in your body? Like, what's messed you up right now? Sir, I'm not on anything. You're, you're on something. I can see it in your eyes. I'm trying to figure out what it is, so we're trying to get you some medical assistance. Because there's something in your body that I think might be messing you up. 120 unit It's something. I know it. Because your behavior is not normal. Not at all. Let me 
just worried about your safety, man. All right. So the ambulance is going to be here in a few minutes to check you out. All right. Where, where is they give you an okay, that I'm not okay. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll cross our bridge when we get to. We'll see what the EMS says, okay? All right. If you need assistance but before EMS gets here, let us know, please, okay? Tensions escalated as the officer waited for the EMS. Nicholas grew increasingly agitated, perceiving the situation as a waste of time. Hey, what's up? My battery's dying. Uh-huh. You have wasted my time. Please find something that you can really charge me for. All right, go and step out the car for me. No, sir. I will not. Step out the car. No, sir. I will not, sir. Step sir. Out the, I'm going to ask you one more time. No, step I will not. Step out the car. Why not? Because it's my right as a human being to not, okay, why can I not just sit here and look at a fucking stop sign? Come on, man. No. Sir, step no. out the car. Sir, let me tell you how this is going to end. You're not going to get me out of the car. You're going to go away and let me enjoy the rest of my day. No, sir. Yes, you are. Nicholas's refusal to cooperate made it clear to the police that a peaceful resolution was unlikely. Consequently, with the assistance of additional officers, they forcibly removed Nicholas from his vehicle and placed him under arrest. I didn't do nothing. Okay, okay, yeah, okay, I'm coming out. Hey, let go of the stool. Put your hand out here. Put your hand back. You're going to get tased. Hand behind your back. Hand behind your back. Other hand. Everything. Yes, sir. After putting up a fight and resisting the officers, in an unexpected turn, the suspect began to ask for forgiveness for being uncooperative. Sir, sir, please, forgive me. Just, just this once, just forgive me, please. You're forgiven. Nicholas faced charges for DUI, with additional charges of making improper turns and for obstruction of law enforcement officers. Today, we've witnessed 10 cases of the most painful traffic stops ever, but we've got more. So stay tuned in by hitting that subscribe button and ringing the bell to make sure you never miss out. Thanks for watching.